Okay, so today we're working, we're going to start with a warm up for five minutes. We're going to go into uh, working, it's just strength and conditioning. Okay, so we're going to work from, from uh, uh, bottom to, to the top. So we're going to work from our legs into our core, into our uh, into some upper body stuff. Okay, I'm going to work in circuits. All right, so we're going to work on, on a specific amount of time that we're going to train for, that we'll do a specific exercise for. Then we're going to uh, uh, rest a certain amount of time as well. Okay, so for example, we could we could work for 45 seconds, rest for 15 seconds. We'll go through three different sets uh, or three different uh, uh, examples, um, and then uh, we'll rest in between each set, and we'll do a total of three sets. Okay, so each section will be about eight to ten minutes long, including the rest time. Okay, it's going to be high intensity, uh, 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 quick um, uh, workload in terms of the time that we're working in, and then short rest time. Okay, so we're really going to get a good sweat on a good workout here. Uh, just at, uh, with an at-home training, okay? So I'll show you the space I'm working in. I'm working in my, my front room. It's not very big. My whole apartment's only 700 square foot. So I'm working in literally this where I've moved my desk and I've just got a, a yoga mat there and you can see uh, the balcony at the front at the back there as well, okay? So this is the, literally, I'm using half of my living room, okay? So you need that sort of five by five space. You don't need a soccer ball right now, okay? So just to get started, we're gonna get up and start with a warm up. Hopefully you guys can see me. Actually, I'm going to pin myself to you guys too, so you can see just me one second. So, so guys, you should be able to just see me now in about. Can everyone see me on the, on the, it's pinned as the, as a big screen there so you can see what I'm doing? Is that good for everyone? Or is it still in an active speaker mode? I think it's good. Just press on the speaker mode on the screen, they'll see you. Okay, so, so that's fine. It's good though. Okay, good. I'll try to pin myself so that, okay, hang on. Here we go. Everyone on me. There you go. It should work now. Is that good? That's clear? Good. Okay, just to get warmed up, okay, just for five minutes, a little bit tough in this space. Okay, all right, but we're going to get warmed up, a little bit of active dynamic stretching, okay, a bit of movement. They're very, very simple, just on our toes, okay, we're just going to go side to side, okay, just side to side, okay, just to get our blood flowing a little bit, just side to side, okay, you go in front as well, behind, in front as well, behind, just side to side, okay, so get going, just working for a minute, just on some light footwork, okay, light footwork, just to get our muscles going, okay. Specific movements as well. All right, my neighbors below me are going to love me. Out, side to side. Now, so just for a minute. 30 more seconds. Just part of our warm up, just as we could do on a normal training day or a normal match day. Okay, but obviously working in a limited space. We're keeping it specific. Okay, so keep going for 10 more seconds. Good. Okay, now we're going to add just that open the gate. All right, so add the dynamic stretch and then close it as well. So you can go to the outside and across. To the outside, open the gate, and across on the closing gate. Okay? Again, it's important that we get ourselves warmed up and moving a little bit before we get into the leg work, because you will feel it. The last thing we want is you to get an injury or a pull muscle here as well. Okay? So just bring that knee up and hold it. Knee up, quick feet, and hold it. Okay, so just hold it for two or three seconds. Put quick feet in between. Knee to the chest. We're incorporating the footwork and the stretch. Footwork and the stretch. Good, five more seconds. Okay, just on our toes now. Okay, just a little side body, okay? A little side body, quick feet. Got that in the hip flexors. One, two, three, four, quick feet, side body. One, two, three, four, quick feet, side body. Boom, and out. Yeah. Good. Good, so now we're going to go to our movement now, five more seconds of that, five more, more seconds of the bodies, and then we're going to go back to our movement side to side, just side to side now. Side to side for 10 more seconds. Keep feeling a little bit warmer, okay? And then we start adding the front ones as well. So side to side. And then front one as well. Side to side, and front one as well. Footwork's nice and short, nice and sharp. Okay, emphasis 
on that lower body, pushing off, bending our knees as we go as well. Okay. Now, as I say, good. Ten more seconds of that. I'm just going to go hand clean sweep. Okay, so quick feet. So just go quick feet. One, two, three, four. Three, sweep through. One, two, three, four. Sweep through. So always adding footwork in between. Then a dynamic stretch there as well. Feeling nice and warm now. One, two, three, four. And we go into our groin. We do one on one and go back. Opposite side. One, one, one. Quick feet. Stretch on the other side. One, one. Quick feet. So again, we're adding, we're incorporating both movement level with some dynamic stretching. We're ready to jump straight in. We want a little bit of a sweat before we do go in to the actual workload. Okay. Good. So one minute of just static stretching, anything you want, anything that you feel feels tight, anything you want to prepare, any injury you might have or you might have in the past that you need to spring out and loosen up. Okay, so anything you want, you just got one minute to do it. You can add footwork if you want as well. you want anything that you can stretch okay the mind you might need to focus on pay some attention to just 20 more seconds good good really make sure that we stretch that lower body out specifically our legs our hamstrings quadriceps okay our calves Minute of anything you want, we've got 10 more seconds and we get going into our leg work and our sets. Okay. All right, so listen up. We're going to go into three different uh, uh, core or, or leg exercises here. Okay, it's going to be really working on that 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So we're going to start, okay, just by a lunge. Okay, so very, very simple. One side on here. You're going to step out, knee down, bring it back up, switch feet. Okay. So we're going to work for 45 seconds, 15 seconds in between. I'll spend those 15 seconds explaining what the next exercise is, okay? So we're going to start our clocks now. I'll hold the clock for you guys for 45 five seconds now. We're in, okay? We're already in. Lunge out. Lunge back. Lunge out. Lunge back. Nice and controlled. Nice and calm, okay? It's really important that the technique is right. The form is right. We don't want to be off balance, not over committing ourselves. So we're already 30 seconds in. Okay, we lunge out. I'm in front of you there, you can see me here. My knee's not touching the floor, just keeping it off the ground. Five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Rest. Simple now, just a, just a squat. Okay, so legs shoulder width apart. Just going down and up. We're sitting into it though. Down and up. We can keep our arms out there as well to bounce us. So in five seconds, we get the top going. And we're in. Five seconds or 45 seconds of work. Just squat there. Try and get that back up right at a 90 degree angle. We're already 10 seconds in. Down, sit into it. Use your hamstrings and your glutes to push you back up. Keep those feet shoulder width apart. In between each one for a second to get real good quality and form in our legs. Okay, we're going to feel this at the end of it for sure. Good. 10 more seconds. Again, I'm there. I'm trying to keep that back straight so I'm not over committing myself. I'm there. And I'm coming back up. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. 15 seconds of rest. Now we're going to combine the two. Okay, so we're going to go from a squat to a side lunge. Okay, so in 10 seconds, we're going to start with a squat to a side lunge. So we start with a squat, come up, you just lunge out. Squat, lunge up to side, opposite side. Ready? In two, one, go. Squat, side lunge. 
Well, side lunge. So sitting up, the glutes down, squat, and side lunge. Okay. You get a little bit lower than, than my range of movement. Okay. Keep you low, keep the form with the technique as well. Squat and side lunge. Squat in between each lunge, and even that lunge out wide, we're still dropping a lot down, we're not going forward, we're dropping it down, keeping that leg straight. And two, one, and rest. Good work, good stuff. First set, we've got two more sets to go. We're going to rest there for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, then we're going to move into our uh, second set. Okay, so now we've got the hang of it. Can we continue working on the form, continue the form uh, positively, but also? Can we start to increase our reps? Can we push ourselves as we're going now? Okay. Just ten more seconds of rest. Take a sip, sip of water in between if you need it. Good. Just ten more seconds. Good. Ready to go in five. And we're straight into our lunges. Okay, into our lunge, back out. Lunge, back out. 45 seconds of work. Lunge, back out. Try and keep that back somewhat straight. We're not going in front, we're not leaning back. We're using our muscles and our core to drive back up, but also balance and stabilize ourselves when we're there in that position. So if I'm in front, I'm really dropping down to that 90 degree angle from the front of my knee and the back of my knee without touching the ground. We go for 10 more seconds. Put it in now. Really put it in. Good. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Rest for 15 seconds. 10 more seconds to rest, and then we're going to go straight into the squats. Okay, straight into squats. Four, three, two, one, and the squat. Okay? Shoulder width apart or slightly wider than our shoulders, our feet. Okay? Try and keep that, get that butt long, arms out. Okay? So even if you train today, this will be a good finisher for the day. We have a lighter day tomorrow. Okay? Maybe a run tomorrow to mix up the training methods and keep working on different components of our fitness. Okay? Really important we're working on both strengthening and we're working okay on other areas as well there's speed agility and our cardiovascular fitness okay so 10 more seconds we're into 40 keep that form going try and get two more in and freeze good freeze we're about halfway through we're just about halfway through 10 seconds get that breather Keep your legs moving though, stay on your feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we go squat, up, lunge. Back to the middle. Squat, up, lunge. Back to the middle. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. Okay, you can try and combine it in two. So as you come up, Step out. So we go up. Out. Okay. Ten more seconds. The time's going quickly now. Squat. Up. Again, it's the form first. Once we've got our form going, then we can start to increase the workload. Three, two, one. We breathe. Fifteen seconds rest. Seconds into round two. Let's go right halfway. Okay, and we're straight back in. All right. Well, this is our third set, rather. We'll get straight back in to lunges. Okay, we'll start that in five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to our lunges. Back up. Lunges back up. Now drop it. 
design. So it should be nice and our paper should be nice and flowing now, nice and free. So now as we step in, we step out, nice and warm. Still starting to fit in our legs a little bit. Two more rounds or two more exercise after this one to complete the three sets of each. Yeah. Okay. Ten more seconds, remember, and knee stays at a 90 degree angle. Okay, we're not dropping that knee, we're stabilizing, stabilizing ourselves. We need to use our arms to give us that balance. That's fine as well. Three, two, one, and breathe. Straight into the squats in 10 seconds. Okay. Again, we're working for 45 seconds, resting for 15. It will take. Okay. Three, two, one, straight into squats. Okay, and out. in, step up, sit in, step up. I'm going to use my hands out there to help me find that 90 degree angle to keep that balance and stability, allow my legs to do the work, driving me in, and driving me out. Okay. Tough to try and keep your back straight at a 90 degree angle, but go ahead and try and keep that, that back straight. So our butt's doing the work and sitting in, and we're keeping that work there. Five more seconds. Try and get two more in. And two, one, rest. Good. We're into the last one now. Last one on our legs before we move on to our core. Okay, once we get to the upper body, we should really start to feel it a little bit more in our breathing, in our heart rate. Okay, a little bit of fatigue as well. Okay. So as we go now, we're gonna go squat up. Side lunge. Squat, up, side lunge. Okay, if you're using a mat, you can do the squat in the middle of the mat. Maybe you can even try and side lunge outside of the mat to get your range of movement. Okay. Down, up, side lunge. Okay. Down, up. Side lunge. Good. Five more seconds. Five more seconds there, and we rest for one whole minute. Or two whole minutes. We rest two minutes. Good. Three, two, one, do what? Rest now. You've got two minutes to rest. Get yourself a water, get yourself a drink. Okay. We're jumping straight into core. Okay. How's everyone else feeling? Seconds. Any more seconds to breathe? Good. All right. Good. So I'll demonstrate what we're doing now. So we're going to go straight to the ground. All right. And just lower that a little bit so you can see. Okay. We're going to go straight to the ground. Okay. We're going to work for 45 seconds again. We're going to rest for 15. Okay. So in on the call, we're going through three different uh, exercises. All right, we'll start with the Russian twists. Okay, where we're here, we're lifting those legs up and we're just going side to side, over side to side. If you've got a weight or you've got a ball or something to hold on to, you can as well. We're just going side to side, keeping that V shape between our knees going up and our body there as well. Okay, so 45 seconds in, starting now in three, two, one. 45 seconds of work, we're just going side to side. We'll have a little bit more uh, a rest, less rest time between each set now. Okay, so when we complete each set, okay, we're gonna go about 30 to 45 seconds rest. Okay, and when we completed each exercise, we're gonna still keep it with a 15 seconds of rest. Okay, so we are working okay a, a little bit higher capacity now. Now that we're quite warm. Now that we can go through to the middle part of our session. Okay, just trying to keep that body straight and allowing the twist of my arms to take me from side to side. Good. I'm starting to feel it now too. Got five seconds left. And a good 15 seconds to breathe. to breathe. Two, one, and rest. Rest, don't cheat yourself. Okay, make sure you get through the full 45 seconds of work. We've got 10 seconds rest now. So now on the uh, next exercise here, we're gonna go plank, but we're gonna go plank reach. So I'm gonna go plank. Instead of just holding it, I'm going to reach out. Plank and reach out. Okay, so let's start that now. Planks. Okay, and then just reaching out in front of us. 
reaching out in front of us, trying to keep that back low, trying to stabilize that core. Okay, so when we're going, when we're reaching out, okay, we're still keeping our body nice and straight. We're just going there, we're not twisting our body to compensate. We are going there and keeping that body straight, putting that pressure on our core through the middle of our body. 10, 15 more seconds left, okay? So I'm there, keeping that butt low. I'm reaching out and back, out and back, okay? A static core or a static plank, okay? It's just gonna hold us here, but in the game of soccer, when we've got that pressure, okay, we need to be able to take the pressure or the push or the, or the physicalness with it. So three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds of rest there. Really important that when we're doing all of this, we're stabilizing the central part of our body, our core work, okay? So that we can apply that as we go into normal play. So three, two, one. Okay, we're now just gonna be cycling in the air. When we're just hands on our ears or on the side of our head, we're cycling through, and then we're bringing our elbow to our knee that brings it back. Elbow to our knee. And we will start now, we should already be in. To knee. Don't have to be too quick. Cycle through. Bring that elbow up, and we're pushing our body across to the knee that's coming back towards our head. So as the leg goes out and we extend, the opposite one should be up and we're through. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe for 15 seconds. 15 seconds, and then we're going to go straight into, uh, well, sorry, three for 30 seconds. I'm going to go straight in uh, to our first exercise, our first core exercise, which is the Russian twist. Okay. 10 more seconds, then we can, again, Russian twist, right? Just from side to side. In five, four, three, two, one, and we're live. Drop Russian twist. In we go. Straight in. For another 45 seconds. That first round should feel good. These next rounds will be a little bit more challenging as we're going through. Okay. As we are recording this, so if we're looking back at this and we're watching this again, and it's too easy, increase your time. Okay, to improve, increase your time, or try and hit it harder on the amount of reps that you're doing as well. Okay. So we can build off this. This is just the base that we're going to work on or work from. And each week, each session, you should be pushing yourself a little bit further to challenge yourself and progress yourself, and we'll continue to do it via these virtual trainings as well. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and drop, good. 15, 15 seconds of, of, of rest, and then we're gonna go straight into our planks, and again, they're not just static planks, we're reaching. We're gonna just extend that arm out in front of us, okay? So stabilizing that core even further. Okay, imagine there's a little bit of contact. So go, we should be starting to land now. So we're down when we reach out. Keeping our body straight, keeping our body secure. I'm trying to avoid as much twisting of our body every time I reach out. Okay, I'm not compensating for my obliques and for my core. And I'm just keeping myself centered. Okay, again, imagine you're receiving that contact. Okay, and we need to keep our body straight and firm as we reach out. And bring back through. Okay, so 10 more seconds, and then we're straight into the second set or the second to last, or, or the second, the final set of uh, final exercise of this set. So five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds of rest now, drop, and straight into our side leg. Okay, breathe, keep the body up right though. Four, three, two, one and we're in we're going to bring that knee up slightly motion bringing our elbow to the opposite side of our body opposite knee opposite leg as it comes up as we extend to the opposite side of our body so we're bringing it up Seconds, 15 more seconds, rather. Good, really engage that core. We've got a nice range of movement, movement through our legs as well. We're not just keeping it out like that, we're keeping it 
in a cycling motion. Three, two, one, press 50 seconds. Good. Good work. Okay, we should still be in good condition here now. Okay, we should also start to feel the burn a little bit through our core and through the fatigue in our body. Okay, breathe a little bit heavier. So in two, one, and we're in, or oh, sorry, 15 more seconds, and then we're into, um, uh, into our initial uh, first exercise. And three, two, one. Let's go into Russian twists. Straight into Russian twists. Last set now. We're just going across and over. 45 seconds. Last set. Last set. Put it in. Don't cheat yourself for that first second. Don't cheat yourself for the last second of work. Okay. You bring me a little bit heavier. Keep the rest as we through each set. Each second. 15 more seconds left. Push it through. Five, four, three, two, and one, and drop and rest. Good. Really push it through here. This is the last two exercises of our core work today. Last two exercises. We're working on the full body today. Okay, so we're, we're not killing ourselves in one area, but we are extending ourselves through three different topics. And we're straight into our plank reaches, and off we go. Straight from our plank to the reach. 45 seconds. Okay, again, stabilizing ourselves in the middle. Reach. I'm not twisting our body too much. Reach. If you need to put something in front of you to touch or to use as a target, that's fine as well. Plank. Reach. Time and you can pose it in between each reach as well. Okay, if you need to, if you find yourself wobbling too much, stabilize yourself and reach out. So, five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. 15 seconds. This is the last 15 seconds of rest between the exercise, and then we're straight into a two minute break or a minute and 30 break and into some. Uh, Upper body. So five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go straight to cycling now. Cycling, bringing that elbow to the opposite side. Cycling all the way through. Elbow to opposite side. Good. 45 seconds of work. The last 20 now. Last 25. Can you put it in? Can you stay engaged, stay up, stay working through? Five, four, three, two, and one, and breathe. Good. We've got a minute and a half before we come back out and we go straight into our body. A minute and a half with about 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left of this session. So get yourself a drink. Good. Well done, guys. How's everyone feeling? All right? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We're, we're straight into the upper body now. Okay? The upper body we're doing, boys, just before, just as you rest, just get your water, get your breath back. Okay? It's three different variations of push ups. Three different variations of push ups. We're going to do three minutes using the same variation. We're working for 15 seconds, we're going to rest for 15 seconds. Working for 15 seconds, rest for 15 seconds, and I'll give you the cue. Okay, we're going to work for three minutes on that one exercise. We have a little break in between, a little extended 30 seconds in between. Okay, all right, and then same with another three on the variation, and another three. So it'll be nine minutes uh, between the work rate and, uh, and the rest. That's fine as well. Okay, so first one, just to demonstrate, it's just a regular push up. A regular push up, get those arms about shoulder width apart. Okay, we're bending those elbows down as well. And we're just there, up, down, up, down. Okay, so working for 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, resting for 15 seconds. And three, two, one, off you go. Push ups, try and get as many as you can in 15 seconds. 
nice and low to the ground, get those elbows bent, pushing through our chest, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off now. Okay, guys, as we get through these two or three reps or two or three sets within the three minutes, it's going to start blinding, start hurting. Okay, so three, two, one, we're back on, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Doing the second one, it's the minute one. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, we start to feel it now. Okay, so what we'll work on here is the, is the repetitions, the intensity of, what, of, of the work rate we, we're doing. Okay, there's limited rest time, and we're working through quick repetitions between. We're back on in three, two, and we're down. So let's go, push it through. Through five, four, three, two, one. We're halfway through this three minute period. So we've got three more rounds within the three minutes. Same variation of push up, just a simple standard push up. Five seconds left. Two, one, straight down again. Straight down again. It's going to get harder as we go through. Two, one. Good. Seconds rest. Ten more seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five. Press. Five seconds left to rest. Two, one, and we're down. And we're down. Come on, fifteen more seconds. Let's go. Second to the last one here now. We need a rest in between a little bit. That's fine as well. Should be feeling it heavy in the arms. And rest. 10 seconds rest left. This is the last one on this variation, then we're going to move on. Four, three, two, one, and go. This is if we need a rest in between. We should be up. five seconds in now. If we need a rest in between, and just shake your arms up, that's fine as well. Try and get as many repetitions as you can all the way through. Two, one, and breathe. Good. Give you 45 seconds of rest, and we're moving to the next variation. That's a, a third of the push ups done, a third of the upper, upper body done. Okay, so we're retargeting a specific muscle group there in our chest and our arms, okay, and stability in our core as well, okay, working for that short amount of time, but with a short amount of rest time as well. So we're increasing the intensity of what we're doing. Over a period of time, for over a short period of time. Okay, making it specific to what we do on the field as well. All right, we're not running in circles for 100 for, for uh, 90 minutes, right, at one pace. At the same time, we're not pumping sprint after sprint, okay, on the bench press either. That's not going to take us anywhere either in, in the game line as well. Okay. Just five more seconds. I'll explain the variation now. Okay, I'll sprint in front so you can see me from here. All right, so we're going to go down in the push up. Sorry, we're going to be up here in the push up stance, but we're going to step to the outside, bring it back to the middle, step to the outside. So, between every push up, we're stepping, we're using our arms to step. Okay, so I'll do the first one here before I move side on. So, we're starting now, we'll start with working 15 seconds and 15 seconds rest. Three, two, one, go. We're back. I'm sorry, with out wide, bring it back across. Out wide, bring it back across. Okay, so we've got a step time in between. We're going to stabilize ourselves and rest there. Good. So as, we, as we come back to the middle, while our arms are straight, we step, do our push up, come back across, step, and do our push up. So in three, two, one, let's get going again. So we're here, we step outside. So if you're working on a mat, you can keep your hands on the inside of the mat, but take your hands on the outside of the mat, bring it back in, opposite one out. So you're switching across, two, one, for 15 seconds. Okay, so you're using the mat to keep your hands in between, and you can step out and out. And if you guys can set targets where that hand goes, you can put a, a marker there or a cone there, all right, to give yourself that look, all right? So, and 
and we're back on. Let's go. Let's go. 15 more seconds. We're down. Out. Up. Out. Up. Across. Out. Up. Across. Out. Up. You've got a, bit of, a little bit of rest time between each push up. And freeze. Good. You're halfway through. Halfway through this one here. Halfway through the whole thing or the whole push up cycle. Take that breath. Three. Two. And we're in. Go. So we're in the middle. Stabilize out. Stabilize out. Stabilize out. Stabilize out. Stabilize out. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Two thirds of the way through now. Two thirds of the way through this set. Good. Just two more. Two more individual 15 seconds. Here, and we're back on grass. Go, 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 go. Straight through. Out, across. Out, across. Out, across. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Three. Last one now. You can push it in. Okay, so if you've done six or seven or eight, if you counted your last sets of push ups through the 15 seconds, try and get, get your highest now. Try and get 10. Try and get nine. Beat your score. Okay? Two, one, and go. Straight in. Okay, we're still working on our form over speed. Can you still push yourself to improve? Two, one, and relax. Good. Rest of that 45 seconds, get a drink, some water. Seconds to get yourself down. As we come back up, we're going to lift our arm up and tap our shoulder. So I'm going to go from a push up, down, tap. Push up, down, tap. Push up, down, tap. Okay? Push up, up, tap. There you go. All right? Does that make sense? So as you come up, then we're going to tap that shoulder on the extension, down, push up on, the, on that shoulder. Okay? All right? So we're going to start working now. Again, last three minutes, put it in. How much left do you have in the tank? Ready? And we're working now. 15 seconds. Okay. So push up, down, tap. Push up, down, tap. Okay, again, it's there. Push up, down, and tap there. Down and tap. Okay, let's go. Tap. And freeze. Good. You went a little bit over there. It's fine. Give it a couple of extra seconds. One, and we're back down again. Two more seconds. And freeze. You need a hold in between. Give yourself some recovery time. As well, it's fine. We want to get to that extension and tap. Four, two, one, and we're down again. Let's go, let's go. Down, up, tap. Down, up, tap. Stabilize in between. There's no rush. Looking at form and looking at technique. We're almost halfway through. And freeze. Halfway through now. We're only one minute and 30 seconds left. Breathing heavy now. Five more seconds. Three, two, and we're in. Let's go straight away. Straight away. Down, up, tap. Down, up, tap. Let's go. Five more. Five more seconds. And freeze. Good. Good. Two more left. Two more exercise or two more of these. We've got this three minutes. Guys, you're into the last minute, okay? You're only working for 15 seconds. Can you push it through now? Challenge yourself a little bit further. Two, one, we down. Let's go, let's go. Down, up, down. Push it in. Push it in, push it through. Three, two, and one, three. Good. Last 
Ten seconds of rest there. Can you really push yourself? Ten more seconds of rest. Push yourself on this last 15 seconds. This is the last thing we're doing today. Last thing we're doing today. And we're on. Off we go. Let's go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Let's go. Keeping that form. Keeping the stability. Through. Two. One. Can you get one more? One more in. And we're three left. Well done, guys. Good start. Good. Good. How's everyone feeling? Okay, this is it. that's it done. Okay, we literally worked for about 40 minutes, okay, 36 to 38 minutes. Okay, again, we're working on that, on the uh, quality in a short period of time. So endurance, the strength and endurance based, okay? We're not running around in circles in the game of soccer. Okay, we're working in quick intervals, quick bursts of movement throughout the game. Okay, which involves the endurance capacity, the endurance level of our game, not just the cardiovascular, aerobic endurance, okay, but a combination of strength and a combination of uh, cardiovascular. That's what a soccer player's build and body type uh, demands, okay? As you improve, as you develop, as you work, uh, uh, increase your fitness levels, you can increase the work time, decrease the amount of rest, and you can also try and complete your scores. So you can count the amount of push ups you do, the amount of sit ups. Or the amount of uh, reps that you uh, complete each workload in and try and beat that the next time around okay that's how you want to continue building off the last session all right guys so guys, i hope you enjoyed it